Hi, this is Sandy from ProTrader, and in this video I'm going to go into a little more depth on our Dava Scanner in the web platform. If you haven't already read it, have a look at our booklet, Darvis Box Trading. It is a very handy resource. If you don't have a copy, email sales at protrader.com.au and we will be happy to send one through. The Darvis Scanner is an excellent trading plan all in one. It shows where to buy and where to place a stop loss and when the trade goes well, where to pyramid the position. Click the scan icon, then click scan for Darvis boxes. The Darvis scan page will appear. If you haven't used the Darvis scanner before and just hit the scan button now, you'll see a number of results with Darvis boxes. I'm going to show you how to narrow down your search results and adjust it to suit your trading style. There are two types of Darvis scans, daily and weekly. Let's focus on a daily scan first. First up, the scan period box. This is the one you are most likely to change. A larger number means that the boxes that are found will be formed over a longer time scale. We like the number 55 for the longer term Darvis boxes. It's a Fibonacci number and seems to fit quite well. A smaller number means that the boxes that are found will be more suitable for short term trading. A low scan period will potentially show a Darvis box forming early in a trend whereas a long period will potentially be a more robust Darvis box. We like the number 13 for the shorter term trades. Again, it's a Fibonacci number. We tend to use them a lot. The top and bottom confirmation period are preset according to our interpretations of Darvis's book. We see no need to alter these, though you may like to experiment. Percentage risk buffer. This figure will help define your stop loss. It also indicates how much you are willing to risk on the trade. We've used a percentage value of 2% below the bottom of the box, whereas Darvis talks about his stop being one tick below the bottom of the box. Limit total risk to X percent. This is a user-defined percentage. The more you are prepared to risk, the more Darvis boxes will appear in your scans. The lower the risk, the less number of boxes will appear in the scan results. Early in your use of the Darvis scanner, we would suggest a maximum of 10% risk. If you tick the volume increased over 500% on the previous one bar, you are asking the software to find a volume spike within the recent history. You are able to choose whether you want the scanner to show charts that are in any box or are just in their first box. We prefer to tick in a box, then first box, as this gets us into an early established trend. You can also refine your results by ticking the next box, with the close or high within X price points below the box top. This will bring up charts that are closer to breaking out. You are able to restrict the sequence to a maximum of X boxes. Maybe you only want to see charts with a certain number of Darvis boxes on them. We originally put the next option in to cut out anything that had been going sideways for an extended amount of time. That is what you are doing by clicking restrict box width to X bars. Under the filters section, these options are ways to narrow down your search results. With the price range filter, maybe you're looking for more speculative stocks and choose a price range from zero to a dollar. Maybe you'll choose to stick to Davis's ethos and buy dear stocks and sell them when they're dearer. If you choose to ignore results that have traded more than X in the last week, you're probably choosing to not look at charts that don't have much liquidity. This figure would change in a bull or a bear market. If you choose to ignore results that have traded less than X days of data, you're probably not looking for new floats or stocks with limited history. Ticking only show results that have traded in the past X days will remove anything that is in a trading halt or hasn't traded recently for some other reason. Excluding intraday data simply means today's intraday data will not be taken into account. The same principles apply to a weekly scan. Okay, so how do we use it? This is our favorite daily scan. Scan period, 55. Limit total risk to 10%. We tick inner box in the first box 
and our price range is zero to three dollars fifty. We ignore anything that traded less than two point five million dollars in the last week, and we ignore results that have less than two hundred and eighty days data. And this one is our favorite weekly scan. Pretty much the same except for these two changes. The scan period is 13 and we ignore results that have traded less than $5 million in the last week. If you have any further questions, get in contact with us via email support at protrader.com.au and if you aren't already using it, request a free trial at protrader.com.au and check it out. Thanks for listening.